Hey guys, welcome to CPR's Kitchen. Welcome, welcome, and welcome back. If you guys clicked on this video, it's because you want to make some Haitian epis. And if you want to know how I create it, I'm going to show you in this video and tell you everything you need. So stay tuned. Okay, so starting from the back, we have some Maggie Jugal, some olive oil, some lemon juice, some dry basil, some dry oregano, some red pepper flakes, a green pepper, a red pepper, some garlic, some scallions, some fresh parsley, some fresh thyme, three nori bouillon cubes, and a red onion. Let's get started. Right, guys, so I open up the Maggie. I'm going to crush that, chop these. Um, I have my parsley and my scallions and my thyme. So I'm going to chop this all up, show you guys what it looks like. And this is what I recommend because you don't want to make too much. So kind of like half everything and then chop it up and blend it. I'm going to do it in a regular blender, not in a full processor, processor or anything like that. So let's get to chopping. When making this epis... A trash bowl is your lifesaver so oh I missed a little bit of sprigs on this hold on y'all all right guys so now it is time to add your olive oil and I'm gonna put mine at the bottom and I'm gonna put some at the top and we're going to put our vegetables inside of the blender guys I gotta cut up my onion all right onion chopped so basically right here, I want to mix the vegetables up. I don't want to just put one specific vegetable all in and then put the other in that way. I want to just mix them all throughout the blender. Okay, so now I'm going to put some of the oregano in here. That's about a good, about two teaspoons. And I'm going to do some of this Maggie in there. We're going to do our crushed peppers. That's about a teaspoon. Black pepper. Y'all know I love pepper. And then we're going to do a little bit of basil. Now with the basil oregano, you can get fresh of that as well. You can definitely do that if that's your choice. And this is to preserve it, to make it last in the refrigerator a little bit longer. So... We're going to add some more olive oil on the top. Olive oil is a preserver too, and you can also use the oil of your choice when it comes to that. And it's time to blend. Now when blending, if it seems like it's not um, getting down like it should, you see it slowing, I mean lowering down get you a spoon and kind of toggle with it so that way it can all blend up well let me show you be very careful not to let the spoon touch the blades at the bottom of the blender Basically, it's done and you can continue blending it if you feel like it's not enough you can actually taste this there's nothing raw this is nothing but fresh vegetables but you want it to be kind of a thick consistency like this and guys this is good for rices meats all that, like I said in the beginning I'm gonna continue blend it just a little bit more add a little bit more olive oil and then I'll show you how I put it in my jar all right guys look at this look at this and this is something you will put in your refrigerator to use whenever you want so let's get it in the jar all right guys so here you have it and you can take this and put it in your refrigerator and use it as you choose when creating different meals all right I hope you guys enjoyed this. If so, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you join my family by subscribing and hit the notification bell. I will see you guys later, Gators. I'm going to stick this in there really quick. Tonight, um, 
I made the epis and I, I'm going to be eating some haddock and I just kind of let the haddock fish marinate in it and I put a little bit of onions and peppers on it and I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator for a while and that is going to be my dinner for tonight along with a vegetable.